What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people, welcome to the Geeky Heathen channel. I am Glenn, aka the Geeky Heathen, here with an unboxing for December's, that's right, last year's, <laughs> December's Geek Gear. Now, it's, it's late, I can see why. Geek Gear make their November box their festive themed one because December box today is January the 10th, 11th, well then, something around that time. They've changed their box. I took this out of the uh, plastic packaging because I felt it, I was like, oh, it's Geek Gear. And you can just open this up. And something just flew out, flew out of it. <laughs> um, I didn't realise they changed their boxes. But this is December's theme, so affiliate links, prices, referral links, all that stuff. In the description down below. Let's get on with the unboxing. It's a very thin box, not thick box. Uh, first thing, card fell out of it. But once you open it up and move the tissue paper, this is what you're going to see. What have we got? So, is this the card time? What's in it? I don't know, it's a little card. It's like a Happy New Year from Geek Gear. That's what it says. It's got some writing in there. A massive thank you for subscribing to our boxes throughout 2018. We wouldn't be where we are today without our customers' continued support. Wishing you all a fun-filled, geeky, and simply magical new year from all of us here at Geek Gear. Ah, Happy New Year to you too, Geek Gear. Thanks for the awesome boxes throughout the year. <laughs> but, card aside, Let's get on with this box, shall we? So, I'll get a t-shirt out straight away. <gasps> is this an Aquaman t-shirt? All I can see is this. But that looks like an Aquaman symbol, doesn't it? Something team. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Atlantic swim team, you say. Atlantis, sorry. Atlantis swim team. It is an Aquaman t-shirt, an Aquaman reference. You can see it's Aquaman, you can tell by the symbol. I would have preferred something more classical Aquaman from the comics though, maybe. But it's a nice t-shirt, I do like that. Nice geeky t-shirt. Let's move on to the next item. This box looks like it's got quite a few, yeah, it looks like it's got quite a few little bits in here. So I have got a Batman classic TV series bendable figure. I received some of these before in a box. It's not really for me. Collect all of the bendable figures. It says there. This is just Batman. It's not something I collect. It's not something I'm into. I suppose if you are like a classic collector, it's quite good for you. But personally, when it comes to collecting, as you can see, I collect a lot of Funko Pops recently. But I like a lot of more figures. A lot of statues is what I like, as opposed to this classical-looking toys. Uh, I'm not be taking about packaging. I shall probably. Either save that for a giveaway or a or resell it on. But next item, <laughs> Adventure Time coaster set. I I, I'm not, I never watched Adventure Time. Didn't get into it, and now it's all finished. So this is Adventure Time coaster set, and on the back there it looks like it shows you a picture of the four different coasters you could get. Again, I'm not going to open that, mainly because my desk behind me is just filled with coasters. I've got so many geeky coasters from all these description boxes. <laughs> uh, and Adventure Time's not really something I'm into. But nice item. We have got an Aquaman mug. Wow. What is this? From Pyramid. A heat changing mug. So that's the box. Shows you one side of it. That looks quite interesting. And then the other side. Should we get this out of the box? And have a closer look. Why not? So here it is out of the box. Um, and you see it says what lurks in the depths and it's Aquaman. It's just a plain black background behind him. It says Aquaman on the side there and exactly the same on the other side. Heat changing so the image behind him when you add hot water will change. And it looks, if I'm honest with you, like it just lights up 
Looks like you get some of the trench creatures behind him. You get some green background and a few of the trench type creatures. And an Aquaman symbol. That's what it looks like you get. Um, I might test it out. I'll stick that on one of my social sites. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, any one of those. Just look for Geeky Heathen. And I might fill up with hot water and post some pictures or a little video. See what it's like. Heat challenger mugs are okay. I, I just prefer a normal mug though, if I'm honest with you. And then got a few more items in here still. Oh wow, I tell you what, I really like these. And these ones specifically. This is Super Mario Festival wristbands. Now, I believe it was Geek Gear gave me some festival wristbands for Batman and Joker before. And you know what? I absolutely love these. They're like a little fashion accessory. So as you see, these ones are you got Mario and Luigi. And you just put them on your wrists and have them dangling. And I quite like them as a little fashion accessory, especially a geeky little a geeky accessory. I do like them. That's a really nice item. Thanks very much. We just so much in here. It looks like there's one, two, three more items, I think. So there is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild badge pack. So it's five badges from Breath of the Wild. Nice little pack that is. And then we have, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a cushion cover. I'm getting a few cushion covers from Geek Gear now. Retro Games cushion cover. I like retro games. I really want to get into retro gaming. Um, hopefully I'll get into that next year. I don't think I'll do it this year. I've got too much to save up for. I need to get a new computer for my editing. But let's get this out of cellophane. How do I open this? Some recycling. Does this have an up or a down? Not really. This is the cushion cover. So I don't think it's particularly any particular game. You look like you have classic Donkey Kong in the middle there. Uh, you've got some Pac-Man, got the little ghost from Pac-Man, got some figures around the outside, you've got like Mario on the outside, a few, oh, do you know what, there's quite a bit on this that I'm missing. Game score at the top there, that's a nice little cushion cover, and because of the design, I don't think people would notice straight away, they'd have to look at it and be like, oh, it's a geeky cushion cover. Uh, yeah, I can add that to my other two, I've got two other cushion covers from them, I've got an uh, Alien and a Predator one, I really like them. But this is a nice little addition as well. And then we've got the card. I'll go for it at the end. Because in the bottom, as usual, is the print. More tissue paper for recycling. Oh, this is a nice print. Look at this. So this looks like a comic cover of Venom. So, yeah. It's like a comic cover. That is part five or six. Definitely a comic cover. I really like that. I like the fact the art print is like a comic cover. Let's keep this to one side and find somewhere nice to put that. I do like that. That is a very nice print. That is the end of the new box that I've used. Very strange box. I mean, I'm used to the boxes where you can tear the tab off. <laughs> but, as usual, let's have a quick recap. Remind ourselves what we've got in this box. Atlantis Swim Team T-shirt. The very nice Venom art print. The geeky cushion cover. <laughs> Batman! The Batman bendable figure. Aquaman heat changing mug. Zelda Breath of the Wild badge set. Adventure Time coaster set. Mario and Luigi festival bracelets. And a Happy New Year's card. And that is all in this box. That's an, quite a lot of items in this box. A lot of small items, but quite a lot of items. So we've got a t-shirt, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven items we've got in this. So got quite a few items in this. It's an okay box for me. Um, coasters, I'm getting quite a lot of coasters, so I'm kind of over coasters, if it makes sense. If you're into Adventure Time though, that would be a very nice item for you, so I'm sure you'll enjoy that. 
I really like the festival uh, bracelets because or wrist face festival wristbands because I do like wearing them. They do they're nice. This art print is very nice. We always get an art, nice art prints on Geek Gear, but this one I really like. Badge set. I'm not into collecting badges, but they're nice badges. The cushion cover. It's handy. I'm slowly but surely changing my entire cushion collection into <laughs> cushion collection. I sound like I'm a collector of cushions. <laughs> I just got cushions on a sofa. And I'm slowly changing them all into geeky cushions. The Batman bendable figure. I, I'm not too keen on that myself. It's just not really not what I'm into collecting. The mug. Yeah, it's Aquaman. I'm really into Aquaman. I went to see the movie. Absolutely love it. I've gone out recently and bought a few comics to test them out. And I think that's all the items then. Cushion cover, Batman figure. Yeah, the t-shirt itself, the t-shirt's okay. I would have preferred a different design on it, but it's okay. Let's have a little flick through the leaflet, see if there's anything else we could have received, anything different. Retro pillowcase, wristbands, badge pack. Uh, right, so the licensed DC Comics, DC Comics, bendable figures. There was four, there was eight different ones we could have got. So we could have got a different one of those. To be fair, no matter which one I got, I probably wouldn't be interested in. I'm not really interested it's in bendy figures like those. And uh, yeah, that's the only that's the only different item anyone could have got. Everyone else got the same items in their boxes. And then next month's box hint is Game of Thrones. And we have YouTuber Spotlight. This month's featured YouTube channel is Napier Photography in 3D. And yeah, December's box. That's not bad, not a bad box. I know the box prices now are 24 99 they start from. You can save a couple of quid by going for a three month, six month or 12 month subscription. Is it worth 25 pound? T-shirts 10 pound? Mugs, I always say, I always put a price on mug about five pounds. It's fifteen pound. One of these figures probably five twenty pounds. Twenty. You definitely get your value for money. I think it's just over your value for money. Well, actually, it's quite a lot in this, this box. <laughs> your value there for money, whether or not you like it or not. I don't know. I, I quite like this box. I quite like the fact. I mean, out of this box itself, I'm going to keep the cushion cover, the mug, the t-shirt. I always keep the t-shirts. Always like t-shirts and the wristbands. So I'm get and the print. So quite a lot in this box. I like. I'm happy with this box. Uh, I'm interested though to know what your favourite item was in this box and what you think of these boxes. Are you interested in them? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And if you're new here, why not subscribe down below. Whilst you're there, smash that bell icon so you're notified each and every time I upload. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, feel free to leave me a thumbs down. But I'm Geeky Heathen. As usual, dudes. Much love. Until next time. Stay awesome. Goodbye.